I've got Windows 10, the latest anniversary update version, and I've got an entire XFCE4 session running inside Windows on Bash, on Ubuntu, on Windows. So what I've basically done is use a VNC. So I've created two shortcuts. One is X, which actually runs a custom script inside Bash. So now I've designed the script just to start up the VNC session and XFCE and all. And I have just created another shortcut, which um, incidentally connects to the VNC server on running on localhost. Okay, so now I just go here and write start X. And so now there is something going on here. And we got the X server running and now XFC4 is also running. So now I can go and just write XVNC and put in a password. There you go. Okay, so now this is the entire XFC4 environment. I don't know why this is not going. Just bear with me for a second. Okay, so the entire XFC4 session running natively inside this. So this is not emulated. This is the latest feature added by Microsoft which actually does not allow you to run GUI applications. So this is a kind of workaround for that. And to say it works well, it works really, really well. See, I got Firefox running. So this is now Firefox for Linux. So someone might ask like, what is the advantage of doing this? But you know, there are a lot of apps which simply work better when you are under Linux rather than under Windows. So this is one of them, like you can run anything, Python under Linux, or you can use some tools natively for Linux, like FFMBG or so on. And overall, I would say a lot of things work, like, you know, the image viewer works. You got Google loaded up here. And it's quite smooth too. By the way, it works well. To be fair, it works really good. And Rock's term is working as it ex expected to. Workspaces are also working. So, overall, great work, Microsoft, in the newest anniversary update here. Thanks for watching.